Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the Wilcox test or Mann Whitney test which is used to do the testing of samples which are non parametric in nature. So, what generally non parametric means is uh, the data which does not uh, need the assumptions that or not does not need to follow the normal distribution which is a condition when you do the t testing that the data is a parametric data. So in such scenario, when you are aware that you don't, your data does not need to follow the normal distribution or does not follow the normal distribution, then you use the Wilcox.test, which, which basically helpful in, in these kind of scenario and follows a very less assumption. So if you want to know more about Wilcox test, then here in the R, you can get to know more about it. Wilcox.test, as it says, uh, performs one and two sample Wilcox test on a vector of data. The latter is also known as man whitney test. Again, it is very simple, uh, similar. Let's say in the last example, I used the uh, t-test on data underscore one and data underscore two. I will going to use the same one, data underscore test underscore data one. And for the Wilcox.test, we will again use the data one. This is just for the representation, but uh, here in this case, uh, uh, I am I'm using similar data but uh, understanding of data is very much important whether it is parametric non-parametric or assumptions whether it follows a normal distribution if that is the kind of assumption that you are aware of then accordingly you will going to use the t-test or wilcox test but idea is how to use wilcox test so that's that's where you can specify one sample uh, if you have two samples so here in this case uh, let me show you the test underscore data 2 and if you can see that test underscore data 1 is having more observation it is having less observation and even after that it performs the test because we do not follow we are following very less assumptions about it so here in this case <coughs> so in this case it does the uh, produce the test with continuity correction because it has less observation so it by default corrects the data and produce the p-value but also generates a warning that cannot compute exact p-values with ties right so because it it is giving us warning because it is less data uh, or the data frequency does not match in these two different uh, vectors similar to uh, t-test if in one sample test that we earlier did here wilcox test and test underscore data one you want to do it again some sort of uh, frequency then you can specify mu mu is equals to let's say we want to test it at a um, observation which is 50 and it produce the result accordingly to you uh, if you are aware that uh, in this case observations are never going below to 50 or equal to 50 you can specify the uh, mu according similar to how you did it in the t-test which i showed in previous video similarly like a t-test you have alternative and pretty much the same sort of functions paired, conf, conf level, confidence level and all those things which I explained in the previous t-test video but the only difference is that uh, it is the Wilcox.test follow very less uh, assumptions as compared to t-test which follows uh, assumptions about normality of data and whatnot and if you really want to uh, be aware then either uh, you may need to search it on the Google to better understand uh, the, these two different data sets on parametric and non-parametric and then accordingly when you find it in your real life or in a practical world uh, from your business you are getting this data set you can very easily do that kind of a testing and choose whether it is t-test or wilcox test in my previous video in the and in the current video i have shown that you have two different vectors and then you are doing a test but uh, you can also perform the test on the data frame also so mostly we deal with the data frame so let me explain for example we have empty cars let's put a head otherwise it will gonna occupy all the space empty cars as a data set and what it tells is miles per gallon cylinders and all that and let's say we want to do a wilcox dot test on the uh, so first one is the numeric variable here in this case mpg by and we want to let's say do it by either cylinder or so that's that should be your categorical variable 
So let's hit CYM. But it will not produce because we need to specify the data set name. Empty cups dollar. And now let's hit the enter. So um, it gives us an error and grouping factor uh, must have exactly two levels. So that's the condition needs to specify because in cylinder you have more than two level of factor. So two level of factor is here uh, in AM. So let's change it to AM and now it produces the results to us. And then you can further uh, interpret it based on the assumption or based on the condition that you are testing. So that's basically the idea I wanted to give that when it is vector, how you would going to perform and when it is data frame, then you need to use the formula in that case. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.